Well, it's main event time here on British Wrestling Weekly, and in this week's instalment, NGW's Open Door Policy returns to your screens, because the man that we are looking at right there is considered by many one of the most promising up-and-coming young prospects on the UK scene today, is Bristol's Charlie Garrett. And this guy is an incredible shape, and boy, can he fly. Not only can he fly, but he's a very, very strong young man, and he's in there with somebody who really will use every ounce of that strength up because it's the former NGW undisputed heavyweight champion. In fact, the man who was the first ever undisputed champion that controls unstoppable monster, Rampage Brown. These two balls lock up. And it, very, it's very rare that you see a lockup that looks even. And Rampage Brown, interestingly, decided to take that into a side headlock there on Garrett. Did he feel that maybe he was losing out on that? We will never know. But Rampage now, whipped off into the ropes. Oh, look at oh, close, up close was that shoulder tackle. And Rampage came off head of steam. And it's just been announced recently that Rampage Brown will finally get an opportunity to challenge for the NGW title again if, if he can win a four-man knockout tournament because we already spoke last week about the first two competitors in that tournament being Zach Gibson against the one and only Zack Sabre Jr. Well, it's also now been confirmed that the other half of that four-man knockout tournament will be Bristol's Justin Sizem against Rampage Brown. Four incredible competitors. So you can bet that Richie West and Rampage Brown are using a novel Bristol native as a warm-up for Justin Sizem. But I guarantee this will not be a walk in the park. Because if they've not studied Charlie Garrett, I mean, it would be a bad move if they hadn't, but if they have studied him, they will know that this guy has got some incredible potential. I'm sure you'll see what I mean is this one speeds up now. Rampage hits the ropes and a sh second big shoulder block there into a tight headlock. And it looks like Rampage is trying to school and grind down Charlie Garrett. Garrett only been wrestling less than five years, but already capturing the attention of many people on the scene. When you see somebody who's the same size as Rampage Brown, if not a little taller, equally muscular, the last thing you expect to see him do is some of the moves that he is capable of doing, a bit like Justin Sizem. These two are almost X-Men in their jumping and uh, physical uh, appearance abilities. Don't know if that sentence made any sense, but it's inconsequential now as Garrett, big leapfrog, and look at that, onto his feet, and that's exactly what I mean by Bristol's Charlie Garrett, who comes back with a close on of his own, that floors Rampage Brown, and Garrett staying on top of Rampage, into the corner, reversal there, by Rampage Brown, who charges into a big boot, by Garrett, off the rope, look at, oh my God, he literally nipped off his head, and a drop kick, God, how fast is Charlie Garrett, I mean, we saw two standouts, of the Gen X League earlier on. Rampage Brown, El Liguero, but you do not expect to see heavyweight competitors like Charlie Garrett moving that fast. That's why NGW's open door policy is so good, because it allows you to see the best wrestlers in the United Kingdom, whether they're contracted to NGW or not. And Garrett, oh my God, look at that standing moonsault. Oh, two and one, just a... Just a two, but that was out of nowhere. We need a replay of that. That was so fast and so picture perfect. Yeah, there you see it again. Tucks the knees in. God, if they thought this was going to be a walk in the park, they have got it all wrong. We're going to have to take a very, very short commercial break. But our big main event continues when we return. Do not go anywhere because British Wrestling Weekly will be right, right back. Welcome back to British Wrestling Weekly and you're joining us in the middle of our main event. Alex Shane joining you here at ringside as Rampage Brown takes on Bristol's Charlie Garrett as part of NGW's open door policy. And during the commercial break, you see Garrett there hitting that incredible dive over the top rope, landing on his feet. But the inexperience of Garrett came into play because he took too long to get back in the ring and he was knocked face first onto those steel guardrails. And the count is on. The referee now, yeah, very, very close to a 10. Garrett back in the ring there. Look at Rampage Brown. The controls unstoppable monster trying to hit the best he can, but Garrett there covering his head. It's a smart move there. And it led to Rampage Brown going for, for the throat. The referee 
getting in there as he should. And as I mentioned earlier, Rampage Brown has a huge, huge match ahead of him, which we will see in the coming weeks on this show as he takes part in NGW's four-man knockout tournament to find a new number one contender. And his opponent will be Bristol's Justin the Hammer Sizem. So you can imagine that being in there with Bristol's Charlie Garrett is almost like a warm-up for Rampage Brown. But as we saw before the break, if you think Charlie Garrett is someone that you can write out, if you think he's someone that's not going to bring the fight to Rampage Brown, then you are surely mistaken, because this young man has the attention and the imagination of the UK wrestling scene alike, because for a man so big, he can fly. We saw some of it before the commercial break, and hopefully we'll see some of it again. But it's not just Rampage Brown that Garrett's in there against. It's, of course, the head of the control. You see him there at ringside, Richie West. And if we know anything about Richie West, is that he will do everything in his power to break the rules. I mentioned earlier that Chardonnay was banned from ringside because of her interference in a match recently. The wild boar Mike Hitchman's manager, Gilligan Gordon, has been banned from the Gen X finals because of his... Uh, a strike in a re uh, an official recently in a match, but yet you see, what? Well, look at that, short clothesline. Yet you see Richie West remain at ringside because he has literally used the fact that he manages four men and he has used that as leverage to blackmail. I mean, not directly, not directly, but to essentially say that his wrestlers would maybe not want to be in an NGW ring if he wasn't with him at ringside. It's essentially blackmail. So Richie West remains at ringside despite everything we've seen on previous episodes of this program. And every time he's there at ringside, that ominous figure in the dark suit makes his presence felt. And Charlie Garrett has got to be aware of that, as does this crowd here in Keithley. Also, some big news. We are going to have the first ever NGW Awards for the last 12 months. That will be coming up very shortly here on British Wrestling Weekly. Wrestler of the Year, Match of the Year, Newcomer of the Year. Has your favourite one? Find out very shortly in an episode of British Wrestling Weekly just around the corner as Rampage Brown sends Garrett in and a big knee. Garrett tried his best. But you've got to believe that when you're in there with someone as big, as strong, as mean, as tough and as experienced as Rampage Brown, it's only a matter of time before you feel the pain, and Garrett is certainly feeling the pain now. NGW's open door policy allows the best wrestlers from around the UK to have the opportunity to appear on NGW British Wrestling Weekly Television, but the price that Garrett is paying for that exposure is the fact that Rampage Brown looks like he is prepared to literally rip the head off of his opponent. Of course, Rampage Brown his two finishing moves are that Rampage drop, the Samoan drop, and of course the pile driver. It needs no other name. It's a name of a move that is so synony uh, synonymous in pro wrestling for being dangerous. In fact, if you made a list of the wrestling moves that have done the most long-term damage to wrestlers' careers, including people like Stone Cold Steve Austin, then the pile driver is at the top of that list. And you've got to bet that if Rampage Brown gets the opportunity and Richie West has anything to do with it, that pile driver will be used to make a statement to another Bristol native, Justin the Hammer Sizem. This crowd getting behind Garrett as they should, because this young man, whoa, 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 look at that. Garrett, I don't know where that came from, but he literally used every last reserve that he had, and look at him clutching at the throat there, because he was choked for life in that chin lock and Garrett looks out of it he really does look out of it and this crowd certainly certainly on the side of Garrett but there is a Rampage Brown sized monster stalking the Bristol native and he comes in and Garrett blocks big forearm by Charlie Garrett big forearm but he spent too long looking at that crowd or trying to whatever Gain his reserve, whatever it was, and now that's more like it. Bringing the fight to Rampage Brown, and that's what you've got to do when you're in there. You've almost got to pretend that this crowd doesn't exist, because Rampage Brown, for the first time in this contest, is on the losing end of this confrontation. 
Garrett hits the corner hard. Rampage charges. Oh, and here's the corner. And Garrett quickly to the top. What's he going for here? What's he going for here? And oh, cross body. Big cross body. Ref down. Two and whoa, whoa. Just a two. Just a two. And when a man the size of Charlie Garrett flies at you, you've got to believe that that has going to leave a mark. And he's calling for something here. I know he's a proponent of that super kick. Is Garrett. And he may be making a bad move there. He goes for it. Yeah, and he telegraphed it to Brown, who. Oh no, Brown's going for the pole driver. Brown's going for that pole driver. He hits this. It's got to be all. It's got. Oh, Garrett comes out of it. And slingshot in. Oh! And look how f hard and fast he hit. And oh, the super kick. He hits that super kick. On Rampage Brown. Oh. Garrett's no. I've heard he does a spiral tap. If you don't know what that is, if he hits what I think he's going for, that call screw from the top, he goes, whoa, whoa, oh my God, he hits it. He's just here on Rampage Brown. If he can make the cover, if he can make the cover, this has got to be all. He's crawling. Ref in position. Two and three. Oh, Richie West. Richie West put Rampage Brown's foot on the rope. And this crowd here in Keithley ready to jump Richie West. The ref didn't see it, and that's exactly what I mean. Look at that. Oh, look at the face on Richie West. It, if he got attacked here in Keefley, I would blame no one. And Charlie Garrett, yeah, keep your eye on Rampage Brown, Charlie, because, yeah, Richie West is just... Don't... don't. I, I feel like I'm, I'm managing more than commentating, but as a former British heavyweight champion, I can smell what's coming because Garrett here letting this crowd dictate the pace of this match and bad mistake it was turning oh no oh no he's going to hit that pole driver oh oh that was he land yeah that's all that's all Rampage Brown just hit possibly the most vicious pole driver I've ever seen the winner of the match Man, that pile driver, we've seen Rampage Brown hit that before. But there was extra spite and extra venom in that one because Charlie Garrett's head was literally drilled through the wood and steel covered in canvas that we call an NGW ring. And we're going to have to get some help from Charlie Garrett because the way he's laying in the ring it is... Just look at this replay, he hits that spiral tap there. But you watch back on this replay of this pile drive and you see exactly what I mean. Look at the way he lands, that is just brutal. But the fact remains that Rampage Brown and Richie West go into their big match in NGW's upcoming four-man knockout tournament, which also has Zach Gibson against Zack Sabre Jr. Rampage Brown goes into his match against Bristol's Justin Sizem with a big win and slams shut the door of NGW's open door policy in the face of Bristol's Charlie Garrett in our main event. Oh, that's shit. There's no need for that.